right, this is just kind of a quick take two on that whole uh, manual connect diverter. We had a lot of reject issues, the ball would go up and sometimes the diverter, the diverter, it was coming down too much so gravity just kept pulling this down and would cause the ball to reject too many times. So we've gone from this flat approach to now this approach, if you can see it. Anyways, that uh, it's got about a 10 degree, well not about, it does, it has a 10 degree bend on it and I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to get this to sit down and have gravity kind of kick in. So we're going to going to give this a try. New 3D printed, printed piece. So we've got this piece which you can tell has a height to it, and then we've got another piece here on the left side that also angles. We should be able to use the same connections though. This new guy. I mean, I already, it's already leaning towards gravity, so that's, that's a good sign. I mean, the whole play field's kind of sloped that direction a little bit. I think we're good. Let's go try it. All right, so here we go. We got hooked up. This is just quick and dirty. I'm just gonna bring the camera back here so we can watch this diverter. I don't have the coils hooked up or anything. We're just gonna do this by hand and just see if it stays to one side or the other. Okay, it stayed to the side. There you go. Pardon the noise of my 3D printer in the background. <laughs> okay, staying to one side. Stayed the other side. It seems like it's working pretty good. Definitely better than it was before. So many times before, it was almost always just staying like right, right smack in the center and the ball would just come up. It would just lose all of its energy and just be like, what do I do? All right, so I'm gonna call that a win. Um, not perfect necessarily, but it's definitely doing better than before. It's definitely staying to one side or the other. Sometimes it kind of bounces back, but you know, a little bit of randomness, I don't mind. So we'll do some real play testing with the flippers um, hooked back up here in a later video. But for now, yeah, just wanted to show real fast a quick iteration we did um, with a 3D model that uh, um, printed it back out with that different, it was 10 degree, not lift, but um, lowering it by 10 degrees. And I think that made all the difference. So all right, we'll, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks, bye-bye.